Have you ever wondered why your car's manual recommends OW20 engine oil in the United States? But the exact same car, with the exact same engine, recommends 5W30 in Europe or Australia. It sounds confusing, but the answer could save you thousands of dollars in long-term engine repair costs. Your owner's manual isn't telling you the full story. Today, we're uncovering the truth that mechanics know, but is rarely talked about. Let's take a real-world example, a Toyota Camry with a 2.5-liter engine. Here in the US, the some people say it's about the climate, but that's not accurate. Are Texas and Arizona colder than Germany? Of course not. So what's the real secret? The secret comes down to one word, regulations. In the United States, the government imposes incredibly strict fuel economy standards, known as CAFE, to avoid billions of dollars in fines. Car manufacturers are desperate for any way to improve their fleet's average miles per gallon, even by a tiny fraction. Using thinner OW20 oil slightly reduces internal engine friction, which boosts fuel economy by about half a mile per gallon. You might not notice that difference as a driver, but for a company selling a million cars, it means avoiding massive government penalties. It's an economic equation, not necessarily an engineering one. Now, let's step into the mechanics corner and break down the numbers, simply. In OW20 oil, the number before the W, which stands for winter, tells you how the oil flows when it's cold. The lower the number, the faster the oil circulates on startup, which is great for protecting your engine in those first few critical moments where most wear occurs. The number after the W tells you the oil's viscosity at normal operating temperature. The problem, and the part that isn't often discussed, is that OW20 creates a thinner protective film. In contrast, a 5W30 oil provides a thicker, more robust film, especially when the engine gets very hot under high stress like driving on the highway on a summer day or towing a trailer. That thicker film is your engine's first line of defense against wear and tear under the toughest conditions. But don't just take my word for it. We analyzed thousands of comments from drivers and mechanics all over the world, and the consensus was stunning. First, quieter engines. Hundreds of drivers reported their engines running smoother and quieter after switching to 5W30. That's not just a feeling, it's proof that the thicker oil is doing a better job of cushioning the metal parts. Second, reduced oil consumption. Owners of higher mileage cars that started burning oil noticed a significant improvement after moving to the thicker 5W30. This is because the thicker oil film helps seal worn piston rings, preventing oil from seeping into the combustion chamber. And third this is a smoking gun drivers from Canada, Europe, and the Middle East confirmed that their manuals for the same cars recommend 5W30. In fact, some Toyotas and Hondas built in Canada and sold there have 5W30 printed right on the oil cap. The exact same cars shipped to the US get AOW20 cap. The priority in America is fuel economy. Elsewhere, it's engine durability. So, what's the right oil for you? It all depends on your driving profile. Let's break it down into three types of drivers. Driver number one, the casual commuter. If your car is relatively new under 75,000 miles and you mostly drive short distances in a moderate climate, OW20 will work just fine. It's designed for that purpose and will give you the best possible fuel economy. Driver number two, the heavy duty driver. If you live in a hot climate, frequently drive long distances on the highway, tow loads, or have a turbocharged engine that runs hotter and under more pressure, Switching to a high-quality 5W30 synthetic will provide far better protection against heat and stress. Driver number three, the high-mileage veteran. If your car has over 100,000 miles on the clock, switching to a 5W30, especially a high-mileage formula, is a smart move. These oils contain special additives that help recondition rubber seals to prevent leaks and MAC delay provide a thicker protective film to compensate for natural engine wear. But what about your warranty? Under a US federal law called the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act, 
a manufacturer cannot void your warranty just because you used a different viscosity oil. They must prove that the oil you used directly caused the failure. As long as you use a quality 5W30 that meets the API and ILSAC specifications listed in your manual, you are legally protected. In the end, this isn't about right versus wrong. OW20 won't destroy your engine tomorrow, but the real-world evidence and engineering principles strongly suggest that 5W30 offers superior long-term protection, especially for the demanding conditions most of us face. The choice isn't about following the manual versus breaking the rules. It's about understanding why the manual was written the way it was and making an informed decision to protect your most important investment, your engine. Share your experience in the comments below. What oil do you use and why? And do unforget to like and subscribe for more mechanical truths you 1T find anywhere else.